Ne? All right, guys, I'm going to get started in just a minute when more people uh, come into the, the stream here. I do at least have one guest with me right now, Sam O'Grady here. And there may be a potential for more people to come in during the this whole live stream presentation. Guess while I wait for more viewers, I'll probably show some of my Christmas decorations before we get to the actual movies and stuff. First off, here first, got my elf tin here from that Ultimate Clutch Edition set from Canada that I have. Over here, I got Jason the Red Ranger. Now I have him wearing the Santa hat. Ho, ho, ho. Also up here, with kind of my Nintendo shelf here, I've got uh, Scooby-Doo here. Sorry you guys can't really hear, it's kind of quiet. Anyway. Next thing here, I have this little wind-up decoration here, featuring Charlie Brown as, uh, this is supposed to be kind of a reenactment of the nativity. See here, Charlie Brown is Joseph, and then you see Lucy as Mary, and then of course he's baby Jesus is Woodstock there. So, it's a little wind-up thing here. There you go. Uh, next thing, I got the... Well, it's supposed to be a magnet, however, I can't really stick it in anything. It's this elf magnet. Also... It's actually called Swinging and Snoopy. What it does is it actually plays a few songs. And you can see Snoopin, Snoopy rocking back and forth. And you see Woodstock sitting on the piano there. With the priest. Try my flash here for better lighting. All right, now got more decorations here. All right, I have it's a little Christmas tree themed around a trailer around Christmas. The little Christmas tree, the little red ornament, just like in the special. Also here. It's actually a light lamp night light, you know, from a Christmas story, that famous light lamp. Old man's major award. Looks like it's not so major now, because now you can buy a uh, night light, you can buy ornaments, you can buy full size light lamps, you can buy uh, prop quality lamps, you can do that kind of stuff. Do you also have this Snoopy Santa hat here, too? Now, I've yet to hang this up, but. I do have this Happy Holidays Charlie Brown and Snoopy sign. I also did recently buy some ornaments, at least a few months ago, and one I actually got recently. Got this Campbell's uh, 1998 Collector's Edition ornament here. There it is in the box. Also, I, I recently got this Rudolph Renos Reindeer Hermie ornament, too. Hey, Tyler. I'm actually doing a live stream right now. Also, I got this Christmas Story leg lamp ornament from Hallmark. This is actually new for 2017. So you can actually go order this from Amazon or you can go to Kohl's or wherever you can buy Hallmark ornaments. Oh, hey, Sam. hey, Tyler. I'm doing a live stream right now. Yeah, I'm doing a live stream right now. Kids warning, I'm doing a live stream right now. Unfortunately, there's only one person watching right now. Oh, at least I tried. Uh, I, while I waited at least for like more people to come in, 
I tried seeing, uh, I showed off some of my Christmas decorations. Nice. Which, actually, before that, I'm going to show a couple more for you guys. Here, here I've got this giant, it's about 20 inches tall, I believe, Snoopy up here. With a little cap and he's got a scarf and everything. It's very large. And I've got this uh, peanut holiday mug here. I actually have a, a few holiday mugs like that, but it's just one of them. But this stream's mainly about, you know, the VHS tapes. And I have some DVDs and I have a few Blu-rays too. So, I think I might get started. Um, uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's quite a few VHS tapes. I may even be missing some. I've got a pretty decent amount of DVDs. And then I have a few Blu-rays now. So anyway, it has grown a little bit, but it seems like I've only gotten a couple of DVDs over the past year. My Blu-ray collection has kind of doubled because I think, well actually it might have even increased quite a bit because I think I only had one Blu-ray last year, but over the past year I've actually gotten three more. And then VHS, um, yeah the VHS has probably barely even grown, hardly at all, because uh, I haven't gotten that many in case you're running my local Goodwill doesn't really... It seems like they're phasing out VHS, I think. Because uh, my the, the newest Goodwill in my town, they used to actually have a decent amount of VHS, but then they started heavily decreasing the amount they had, and they've gotten to the point where they've pretty much removed all of them. But anyway. I still go there, though, because I still go buy stuff. I buy DVDs and stuff there, but anyway. But anyway, let's get started here. Actually, I should probably get one one other tape. It's sort of it's not really like a movie, but it's in sort of loop tape. I'll put this in here real quick. Yep, that's why I'm kind of doing this. Also, this live stream is being done in response to Fisher uh, Fisher Rachel, but I think his channel is the VHS Brony now. Uh, he did a video he uploaded earlier this morning uh, of his Christmas uh, VHS collection. So anyway, I guess it's kind of get started. I don't believe I'm missing anything, so let's keep let's get started. This is probably my oldest Christmas tape. Ah, uh, this is a Disney Christmas gift. This is actually a TV special from I think 1982, and it was made because Mickey's Christmas Carol was supposed to be a TV special set to air in 1982. But it was delayed to 1983, so they made this special to air in what was supposed to be its time slot. So, if we didn't have Mickey's Christmas Carol, we probably wouldn't have this special. It's kind of interesting. It's going to have a VHS copy of this because I don't believe this special has been released to DVD. Uh, October 21st, 1984. I'd like to get some of the other Disney Christmas specials on VHS, like a Walt Disney Christmas and Jiminy Cricket's Christmas, primarily because those have not been re released on DVD. Mickey's Christmas Carol has been released to another Disney. It's not really a special. It's actually a, a theatrical featurette. Okay. All right. Got the Muppet Christmas Carol here. Fortunately, the case on mine is in terrible condition, but the tape plays just fine. Uh, oh, all mine are right. Here is the label for it. I will tell you the demo tape for the Muppet Christmas Carol actually comes in a green case. Because I think I saw it, I'm not sure where I saw it, it might have been, even been on eBay, but it was kind of expensive. The demo tape actually had a green case. Print date is September 21st, 1993. I think what have kind of been a neat idea is if Disney put this... Sorry guys, I need to get going. I have to go to work. Oh, uh, actually, I, I mean, um, you actually, you, do you have a job? Yeah. I did too, but I'm not going to mention where I work in this stream. I am kind of want to keep it private. Yeah, but um, I'll be back later, okay? Okay, I'll go. I'll keep doing the stream. So Sam, yeah. Let's try to talk sometime soon again because it's been a long time since we last talked. We gotta talk again like sometime soon. Yeah. 
Oh, we got another viewer. We got two now, not one. Okay. Well, that's at least that's yeah, in the... Alright. Hey, Sam? Yeah. You would be kind of interesting if uh, the Muppet Christmas Carol came in a red clamshell instead of just a plain white one. That would be all the contrast with some of the other Jim Henson video releases. Because then it's kind of like the Christmas cars. You have greens for most of them, and then you have Muppet Christmas Carol be red. Anyway, here's Miracle on 34th Street. This is the remake. Now, it's pretty divisive of which one's better. The John Hughes version, the remake, or the original. I think the original's better, but this one's still pretty good. Uh, let's see here. The 37th week of 1995. Alright. Next up, I got a Christmas story, but what's kind of interesting, my copy is the Warner Brothers case, but inside is actually an MGM copy. As you can see here. August 5th, 1997. I'd actually... I'd like to pick up the original MGM DVD release of this from the late 90s before Warner Brothers got the license to distribute uh, some of the earlier MGM releases. Although this one isn't quite an early release, because uh, this one's from the early 80s. But anyway. Next up, we got An Old Dog's Christmas Carol. I think this was a straight-to-video release in 1998. October 28th, 1998. Alright, now I got two copies of Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. This is the original release. Yep. Oh. Oh, what am I doing for Christmas, Jordan? Um, actually... Um, I'm mainly going to celebrate Christmas here at home uh, with my family, but uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to mostly do. I'll hang out, watch a bunch of Christmas movies, eat a, eat a lot, just kind of hang out. October 17th, 1999. Oh. Alright. Now... Here is the Gold Collection VHS here. Main difference, just uh, new pr updated previews and then as an added music video from a band I don't care about. Uh, let's see, September 29th, 2000. Uh, Bran Chow, I actually just told Jordan what I'm doing for Christmas. I'm mainly just going to be celebrating at home. Uh, celebrating Christmas at home, heating a lot, watching a bunch of Christmas movies, and then, of course, I'll open Christmas gifts. Uh, actually, for Christmas, I actually open my Christmas gifts on Christmas Eve. So. In case you guys were... In case you guys were curious. I actually, I do get a few things on Christmas, but a lot of my stuff I got on Christmas Eve. It's actually been in the tradition for many years. So anyway, here's Mickey's Magical Christmas. Snow at the House and Mouse. This is actually one of the two direct-to-video movies uh, based on the House and Mouse TV show. Uh, October 9th, 2001. In case you're wondering, this was recycled from the original 1999 release of Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. At least that makes sense. I, I, at least that's a recycling... That makes sense. Recycling from another Christmas movie. Next up, we got the classic here, the Santa Claus. This here is the special edition. I, I plan to one day get the the Blu-ray box set of all uh, of all three of the Santa Claus movies. What's funny? The VHS is not THX certified. But the, the first version of the 2002 DVD is. But I think later copies of it aren't THX certified. 
September 12, 2004. So, uh, Sam, if you wanted to get, like, the DVD release of the Santa Claus Special Edition, just keep in mind there's two versions of it. There's one that's THX certified, and there's one that's not. Just check on the front of the box, it should have the THX logo. And the disc should have the THX logo too. But if you see like a newer co if you see a copy of it in stores now, it will just have it won't uh it won't have the THX logo on the case. Not sure if the opening will still have the THX logo, it might, but I'm not certain. I don't think it does. Uh this is I wanted to offer Christmas Charlie Brown. Uh fortieth week fortieth week of two thousand four. Was it? Um, I'm on, I'm on Dr. Christmas to try it around. I had the recycled copy. And, and I'm pretty sure that's the last peanuts tape ever made. Actually, that is true. Unless there was, like, a promotional... F well, unless you count, like, reprints of, like, uh... Of, uh, of all the other, other tiles. Like, I know there's 2005 reprints of, uh, Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown. I think there's, um, I think there's, yeah, six reprints on that four VHS releases as well. That's possible. As Paramount technically made tapes up until the end of 2006, although not all of them were for retail sale, but they did make some Nickelodeon titles up until the end of 2006, so I think that's possible. But I think they would be in very low numbers, though. Anyway, here's Miracle on 34th Street. This is the THX... 50th anniversary edition here. What's pretty interesting, this actually has the theatrical trailer at the beginning. But it's not, it doesn't really feel like a theatrical trailer. It's just kind of like a, a bunch of people, like, a, like I assume film executives, uh, talking about the movie. And it's kind of cheesy, in my opinion. The 42nd Week in 1997. If you want to check it out, I think it is on YouTube. If not, I might upload the theatrical trailer to YouTube. Hey, huh? The quote-unquote theatrical trailer. Yeah. Maybe it was supposed to be a promotion for theaters to promote the movie. I don't know. To get them to, to get a copy of it to show in theaters. Here is White... This is, we're now on the slip covers. Here is Ivory Berlin's White Christmas. For some reason, on the back, it's dated December 25th, 1987, but this tape was, was printed in 1985. See here, the 46th week of 1985. See here, I got Miracle on 34th Street again. Alright, sorry about the temporary delay there, but anyway. There's no print down here. I'm going to show you a little hot here. I think I'll turn on the fan. There we go. Got home alone. And see here. I think it's the 25th week of 1991. It's pretty interesting. This is kind of a rare copy. This one actually has the white screen death and moaning sound. In case you're wondering, White Christmas does have the, uh, the white screen death. Not sure what Miracle on 34th Street there has, but... There it is, Disney sing-along songs, very many Christmas songs. It's pretty interesting. This one, the only way you can know this is a sing-along songs title is look at the box or the label, because at the start there's no uh, sing-along songs intro. October 3rd, 1991. There's another Disney one. This one isn't quite a Christmas movie, but this is an in-store loop tape. Uh, 
Here's the label. The print date is October 20th, 1992. What's pretty interesting, this tape is actually recycled from a copy of uh, the 1989 VHS of Bambi. I could tell because both my copy of Bambi and this tape look almost identical with the exception of the labels. Here's a Charlie Brown Christmas. One of several copies I have this, of this special. The 38th week of 1996. Here is Rugrats the Santa Experience. Let's all turn up. There we go. Who we're supposed to be talking, however, I can't hear any, anything. Alright. Here's the label. There is a Skype call going, but I can't really hear into the audio. Let's see. I believe it's the 36th week of 1997. It's hard to see. Now, we skip several years to 2003 here. Got the Santa Claus 2. I'm not really a big fan of Santa Claus 3, but I do like the first two movies. Here's the label. And the print date's October 23rd, 2003. It's kind of funny to find like a 2005 reprint of this tape. It might exist, but it'd probably be very rare. You got Elf here. One of the three copies of Elf I have. This is just my VHS copy. I think arguably it has the nicer cover because this one's nice and shiny and metallic and stuff. Here's the label. And there's a print date, October 4th, 2004. See, here's some like the later copies, even the original DVD. They kind of cheaped out in the box. Got Christmas with the Cranks. I don't know why, but this tape's very rare for some reason. I don't think that, I guess not many copies were made. I feel like I got one print run right at the beginning of 2005, and then they did one or two print runs in late 2005 with ink labels. Minus the, the first run, one from the first run of the, of the movie on VHS. Fourth week of 2005 here. Slip cards and I have a couple of loose tapes. No, we want to do these. Are we there yet? This is the this is not necessarily a Christmas movie, but it kind of it is set during New Year's. So I figured I should at least show it here. April twenty fifth, two thousand six. Probably one of the rarest tapes I own. Arguably. All right, now I got three. Loose tapes. Starting off, we got Maurice Sendak, Little Bear. This is the the Nick Jr. show, the Nickelodeon show. This is Winter Tales, which has more kind of like semi-holiday kind of winter themed episodes. And let's see, this is a reprint copy. I think it. I'm trying to look at the printing. I think it's the 39th week of 1999. Got this one here. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. One of the three copies of the animated Grinch. Surprisingly enough, I have seen the Jim Carrey version of the Grinch, but I actually don't own it, believe it or not. Any form. October 30th, 2001. Now, last tape here. Winnie the Pooh, a very merry Pooh year. No case. Uh, in case one of this tape was recycled from Cinderella 2 Dreams Come True. And there's a print date, September 17th, 2002. Just stop for a second. I'll try to see if we can get Skype to work. Let's 
see if there's any. There we go. Finally, I got the damn call to work. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to continue here. Now I'm going to uh, continue here and show the DVDs. First off, I've got my second copy of The Grinch. This is the 1998 MGM DVD. Funny, I mentioned on the bottom that this DVD works in standard DVD players as well as uh, it works with DVD-ROM drives and, pl and plays on on digital and HD TVs. And then standard TVs, of course. And then here is the disc here. There's the chapter insert. It's a little pamphlet thing. I think there is a Snapcase version of this DVD from 97. I may be wrong, but anyway. Got a Charlie Brown Christmas. Fortunately, this DVD no longer works. It's, it's scratched to be on repair. Oh, I guess if I resurface it, it might work, but I'm pretty sure it's still permanently damaged. Here's Santa Claus is coming to town. One of the two DV ways I own this this special, because I own a box set uh, of various Rankin Bass specials. Here's the disc. I think it's my only Sony Wonder DVD. Next up, I got Ernest Saves Christmas. What did I mention? The front cover here, this just reminds me of like a laser disc cover. Because I think, I think they use the same artwork for the VHS on there. There's the disc. Come on. I got. The two of the three, the the second copy of Elf Hair. This is the the Infinite Film DVD. I think they also made a budget version of this at one point. That was just one disc. But this one has two discs here because there's widescreen, full screen versions on on here. And there's all the inserts and stuff. Too bad this little piece for one Elf for yourself doesn't work. You can't really use it for anything now because it was intended for a sweepstakes in 2004. I think they were giving away where he got like for a weekend or something. You got like uh, basically like an assistant pretty much for your life for the most part. And then you got like several thousand dollars in cash. One of the two copies of Polar Express I have. I'd like to get a VHS copy one day. Here is the disc. This is just the budget DVD release for the most part. I think there was a another. This is, there's a full screen DVD and there's also a collector's edition DVD. And here's the last copy of the Grinch. Here, the 2008 Warner Brothers version. There's also an older 2006 release, but that one main difference. Instead of having the commentary on here with uh, Phil Roman and June Frey, uh. Instead, it actually has includes Horton Here's a Who instead, the animated one. But Warner Bros. decided to give that its own DVD and let the Grinch have the commentary again. Oh, not there. Alright, now. Actually, I have another copy too. I have two Warner Brothers copies, not counting Blu ray, just DVD, of a Charlie Brown Christmas. This is the. Standalone release here. And then this is the version out of the box set. At least the original release of the box set. There's the DVD, and this comes with a little sampler CD with some of the some of the music from the soundtrack. Continue. Next up, I got Home Alone, the complete, at least at the time, collection. Of course, they made another one. I think it was in 2012. I think it was a, another. It was like a straight to DVD release. I think 
I think it was called The Holiday Eyes. That movie was terrible. I think I did see it at one point. Case running, I've got the original Home Alone out of here for now, but it pretty much has the same label art as Home Alone 2. I think I got one of my DVD players somewhere. I got Home Alone 3 and then Home Alone Taking Back the House. Also, it's Home Alone 4. I may be wrong, but I think at one point, Home Alone Taking Back the House might have been branded as a Disney film at one point. Because, and some of the advertising for it. Because I think it aired on ABC back in 2002. And then there is, that's Home Alone 3 and there's Home Alone Taking Back the House. The main thing I hate about the sequels is that they're, they're they're not really keeping it consistent. It seems like uh, the the other the, after Home Alone two, the other ones are like non-canon, like they're their own stories. Uh, they're not. Uh, they're not. Even if they use like the same character names or at least similar character names, they're not. They have nothing to do with the first two movies. So that's the main problem is that they don't take into account the the previous movies in the series. So. If there even is a can of the Home Alone movies. Uh, here is I Want a Dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown. And also, as the Home Alone movies went along, uh, the concept of being Home Alone pretty much gets lost. Because in the first two movies, like the parents and the family are all freaked out because they left one of their one of their siblings at home. But then the other movies, it's like, bye son, we'll see you later. Like, he's being left home alone, but, like, they're not scared about it. They're just, don't, they don't give a crap. Or they think it's terrible. I think it's, technically, they're not, he's not really home alone in the fourth movie, because, uh, there's Mr. Prescott, and then there's, uh, there's the maid. I forgot her name. But, uh, there, oh, Molly, the name of the, of the, the maid of the house. So it's just kind of, so he's not really even alone in, he's not really alone in the fourth movie. Uh, he's with somewhat trustworthy people, and then Home Alone, and then in Home Alone Five. It's been years since I've seen it. Uh, there's nine. There's no. There's no. There's no Marv or Harry in sight. It's just completely new characters. So it's just kind of weird. The movies are not consistent. Home Alone One and Two are consistent and they make sense, but Home Alone Three through Five, they don't make sense. Then why even bother making sequels when they're not gonna make sense? When they're not gonna make sense. And we've got Hulk, Trabound's Christmas Tales. There's the disc here. This was initially a CVS Pharmacy exclusive in 2009, but then it was 